All right, what's up, PB Poppers? It's Jordy Pop 83 here. And uh, I don't know about you, but I got all my Great League Pokemon all ready to go. And uh, yeah, I had them all powered up and I got so much dust from that two weeks of Great League. And, and I'm being super sarcastic, guys. That two weeks went super quick. I did almost 200 battles and still only ended up with about 200K dust. That's enough for one Pokemon to be powered up and have a second move put on it. I don't know what Niantic is doing, but it's not gonna work for Ultra League. So now, now we uh, we put Great League behind us and now we're gonna move on to Ultra League, right? And uh, Ultra League is full of some amazing Pokemon. We got some Giratinas making a showing. We've got our Registeel coming back for, uh, for another round. We got our uh, Swamperts coming back for another round. Uh, some really interesting picks though, Armor Mewtwo and, uh, and Snorlax. We're gonna go into these in depth, I'm just, you know, mentioning them now. So, um, there's a lot of great Pokemon, but I, I'm sure you realize that it was super expensive to power up to 1500. So, just take that and double it or triple it, because that's what it's gonna cost to get to that 2500 mark now. Uh, and with Master League only two weeks away, I don't know what Niantic is gonna be doing about this dust situation, but it is looking dire. But. Thank you to pvpoke.com and uh, Hakuna Matata for putting together this amazing graphic. Just a quick overview of some of the picks that we're gonna be going over. So let's take a look. The Ultra League Starter Pack. We got the, both of the Giratinas, Giratina Origin and Giratina Altered Form. Origin is gonna be flying, Altered is gonna be on the ground. Um, according to Hero Vange's video this morning, and I will put a link in the description, um, it's looking like the uh, the flying the origin form is going to be a a better pick for us even though uh, altered form is um, higher rank origin form is going to be doing more work um, so as you can see here the altered form is going to be taking care of the uh, the Charizard the Venusaur and the um, what's it called and the uh, come on come on guys the Heracross holy moly Heracross I don't know why I had a brain fart there. So uh, Charizard, Venusaur, Heracross are going to be taken care of, and obviously a lot more, right, are going to be taken care of by the Giratina Altered form, but this is just off of this, um, this chart here. And so we're going to be going ahead and taking care of those, um, those, and then uh, what's going to beat us, right? What's going to be beating us is any dark type um, or normal types with ghost moves, like Snorlax is going to be doing amazing since no normal is immune to ghost and then uh ghost is weak to ghost right so you're going to be immune to the attacks coming in and you're going to be dealing super effective damage going out and uh so that's going to be another one and then ready steel also is going to be able to take care of you uh ready steel is going to be taking um neutral damage from the uh from the ghost type moves so I, i'm pretty sure that's a squeak out um matchup there well, i'm going to go ahead and take a closer look at a lot of these pokemon over the next coming days um, origin form here is going to be able to take care of the armored Mewtwo. Uh, that's a little bit different from the the, the difference from the uh, altered form. Is the origin form will take care of the armored Mewtwo, and uh, will also be countered by uh, Togekiss. I believe Togekiss can also take care of the altered form. Um, so let's move on to Registeel now. Registeel with Lock On, Flash Cannon, and Focus Blast. Same move set as from uh, Great League, but we're going to be taking care of the uh the fairies so your toga kiss you're gonna be taking care of your ghosts like alter giratina and you're gonna be taking care of the dark types with your uh focus blast with your fighting moves um in the alolan muck um what is going to be able to take care of you is going to be the swamper just like in great league and be throwing those hydro cannons out um if you do bring earthquake on swamper that's another great uh great way to take care of the of the reggie still but I personally like to run Sludge Wave on my Swampert. It gives me a little bit more coverage, allows me to take on the the, uh, the fairies, and uh, it just gives you a little bit more options, right? So that's my personal preference. Uh, so finishing up with the great Ready Steel here, we're gonna be taking care of the Swamperts. Uh, oh, the Swampert's gonna take care of you. The Charizard's gonna be taking care of you, and then also the uh, the Heracross is gonna be taking care of you. So you're gonna be uh, you know, getting beat by ground type moves, by water, uh, the hydro cannon, quick hydro cannon and neutral damage coming out of that, your fire spin and blast burn out of the Charizard, 
and the close combat coming from the Heracross. Moving on to Swampert here. Swampert is going to be taking care of the Reggies, the, uh, the Charizards, and the, the Mucks. All right, so we got that Mudshot, Hydro Cannon, and Earthquake. I personally, like I said, recommend Sludge Wave on your uh, Swampert. That gives it a little bit wider range of possibilities to take care of and really, um, really opens up the possibilities of being able to take care of the fairies and the grass types. As you see here, um, you're gonna be countered by grass types, uh, obviously, right? You are double weak to grass moves, so you are gonna be countered by grass types. Thing is, if they switch into you, right, and you already got some energy um, built up, and they're running Vine Whip and not Razor Leaf, you have plenty of time to get to that Sludge Wave. You almost maybe have enough time, if you've built up enough energy, to get to that Sludge Wave, bait a Hydro Cannon, and then throw the Sludge Wave uh, for some super effective damage against these uh, Grass and Fairy types. All right, so the uh, the Swampert there is going to be take uh, going to get beat by the the Grasses and the Gyarados. Moving on to Charizard here. Charizard is going to be taking care of uh, the the Steel types, the tanks, the uh, your Grass and your Fairy types. Let me take care of the Fairy types because it's resistant to Fairy type moves. Uh, it being part Fire. It's going to be taking care of the Grass types obviously because it's going to burn it to the ground. And then also the um, the steel types there are going to be taking uh, super effective damage from Blast Burn and Fire uh, Spin. You can go ahead and use that Dragon Claw as a bait move for most of the situations. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and take uh, using that Fire Spin Blast Burn. You're going to do great work against the tanks and the grass types. Um, so you're going to be uh, getting beat by your Giratinas, by Swampert, and by... Um, by Gyarados here. So water type moves obviously are going to take care of you and the altered Giratina has ancient power and those rock type moves again are going to be taking care of you. Um, okay so Armored Mewtwo. We got a big event coming up soon and that's going to be giving Armored Mewtwo Psy Strike. So you're going to have options here right? Um, but uh, your ideal move set will be Confusion, Dynamic Punch, and then either Rock Slide or Psy Strike depending on how you want to work it, right? Uh, so you're gonna be taking care of your Reggie Steels with uh, Confusion and Dynamic Punch. Uh, also, you're gonna be taking care of the Poison Grass types with your Confusion, and also you're taking care of uh, your your Togekiss, your Fairy types, through Resistances. Uh, you will be beaten by your Ghosts and your Darts, seeing as you are Psychic and you're afraid of Ghosts and you're afraid of the Dark. Um, so yeah, let's move on to Lapras. Lapras is an amazing, uh, amazing Pokemon. It has been released several times with its ideal Ice Shard Ice Beam move set, and you're gonna go ahead and uh, add Surf onto that to really give it some nice coverage there. Lapras will be taking care of the uh, Flying Giratina, Giratina Origin, your Togekiss, and your uh, and your your Charizard, right? So you're gonna be using those ice type moves to take care of those flyers. And then um, you're gonna be getting beat by your steel types and your grass types, okay? So your ready steel, your armored Mewtwo, and your Meganium. Meganium um, will be having uh, Vine Whip, Frenzy Plant, and Earthquake. Earthquake is also really great against other steel types. So Meganium is a, is a really great pick for Ultra League. Uh, we're gonna be getting that into that in the bargain bin section. Uh, second to last, we got Alolan Muck. Alolan Muck is looking super spice, super, super, super awesome. You got Snarl. Snarl is an amazing energy generation move uh, after its recent recent buff, right? <laughs> and then uh, we got Dark Pulse, which is uh, a, basically a foul play, just a little bit better, a little bit more, um, a little higher energy requirement, but just slightly higher uh, damage per energy. So that's a nice move to have. Um, and plus with Snarl, you're going to be getting there very quick. I believe it's in five Snarls. Um, and then you got Gunk Shot or Sludge Wave, depending on how you want to run it and what energy requirement you would like to go after. Um, I'm going to go into depth a little bit further into most of these Pokemon in Matchup Mastery and by the number episodes in the coming days. Uh, and then my new best friend, Snorlax. I had an amazing Snorlax from what, that uh, event where they gave it Yawn, which is 
Oh, so tired. Uh, so I was hoping that Yawn was going to lead to special abilities being released. Apparently it's not. I don't know. I talked to PV Poke about it. He is not... Um, he does not think that it's coming in the near future. So I went ahead and TM'd that off and I got Lick. And then I got super, super lucky with the uh, move set. I added a second move and I got Body body Slam. And then um, I did a little research on PV Poke as always. And uh, I realized that instead of Earthquake, Superpower. Superpower is actually gonna allow you to beat Reggie Steel with 67 health left over. Oh, that's amazing. And then uh, if you don't have that, if you only have Earthquake, you think, well, Earthquake's super effective against Steel. I don't know, man. It's actually, you end up with uh, losing. Reggie Steel has five health. So that may be an IV situation. I mean, you can definitely overcome that with an energy uh, difference, but I, I'm i running Superpower. I think you should too. Uh, definitely, definitely worth a look. Um, and it also picks up something like 10, uh, 10 wins over Earthquake across the entire meta, or in, across the entire field. I haven't looked at it uh, into the concentrated meta yet, but superpower, okay? Just trust me. All right, so let's move on to the bargain bin here. Bargain bin, we got, uh, just gonna go a quick overview. We got Venusaur, Meganium, Togekiss, uh, Gyarados, Heracross, and Typhlosion. Now, I've been hearing amazing, amazing things about Typhlosion uh, on Twitter today, saying that even with just the one move with Shadow Claw Blast Burn, you're going to be doing work, doing work. That Shadow Claw, for instance, is going to be able to, we well, would think it would be able to take care of the uh, ghost types, but apparently um, its typing does not allow that. But, okay, let's start with Venusaur, okay? Venusaur, Vine Whip, Frenzy Plant, Sludge, Wall, Sludge Bomb, that's an obvious, right? Um, I I kind of like running Razor Leaf Venusaur. A lot of people say that's stupid, but uh, it catches people off guard a lot. And especially if you come up against a uh, a Swampert, they're not going to be able to think fast enough to switch fast enough to be able to get out before half of their health is gone. To be honest with you, so that is it's an idea. I'm not saying you should definitely do it, but it's an idea. It's uh, something to think about. So with Vine Whip, Frenzy Plant, Sludge Bomb, you're gonna be able to take care of Swampert, obviously, right? Uh, but also Togekiss and Meganium uh, with the Sludge Bomb, right? So you're gonna be able to uh, charge up the Sludge Bomb, maybe bait a Frenzy Plant, and then come back in with Sludge Bomb and finish up the, finish up the job. Uh, you will be going down to Charizard, Armored Mewtwo, and Altered Giratina, um, most likely just due to uh, its resistances and I mean, you're getting super effective damage from that fire spin blast burn. And then the confusion from um, from Armor and Mewtwo is going to rip right through you. Okay, let's move on to Meganium with Vine Whip, Frenzy Plant, and Earthquake. Now, this one is going to be doing great, obviously, against Swampert again. But this is also going to be able to take out your, uh, your, your Lapras and your Snorlax. Snorlax is going to be an amazing, amazing pick for Ultra League. Uh, it has a lot of coverage. It's got that body slam. Uh, I don't want to, I, I wouldn't say body slam spam because Lick is not the highest energy, gener energy generation move, but it does have body slam and that's going to allow you to have neutral coverage across the board. The only thing is, is that there are several ghost types running around and ghost is immune to normal. Okay. So, right. Let's move on to Togekiss. Togekiss is a killer Pokemon. This is going to be one of those ones where you're going to want to uh, get the Togepi as a baby and then uh, unlock the charge move there, save yourself almost, I think it's 65,000 dust. So uh, you're going to be able to get it at 10,000 dust for the second move. And then uh, with the charm, you're going to be able to take out all the ghosts and be able to take out the fighters uh, like Heracross. So both Giratinas, Heracross, any fighters coming your way, Charm's going to take care of them nicely. Um, what you're worried about with Charm or with a, a, a Charmer, a fairy, is steel and poison. Okay, so you don't want to get smashed by a hammer because you're a fairy and you're going to get poisoned as a fairy. So Reggie Steel is going to take care of you. Uh, Venusaur with Sludge Bomb, that's going to take care of you. And then, like I said earlier, your Charizard being part fire, those resistances are going to help Charizard. 
overcome uh, the Charmer, the Togekiss. All right, now we got our Gyarados. Gyarados with Dragon Breath, Crunch, and Outrage. Uh, Gyarados is going to be doing work with those Dragon-type moves. going to be able to take care of all the elementals. Um, so even though it is only fire, or I'm sorry, flying and water, so that means that it's going to be single weak to, double weak to electric, single weak to rock, okay? Uh, so you're going to be able to take care of the Swampert, the uh, Charizard, and the Giratina altered form, but you're going to be uh, going down to the Charmer, Togekiss, to the uh, Grass user, because it's a water typing, from um, from our boy Venusaur, and then also from, from Meganium. Man, I don't know, my brain is it's a little slow today, a little slow today. So, <laughs> all right, guys. So we got, um, we got uh, Heracross here, Heracross with Counter, Close Combat, and either Megahorn or Earthquake. Uh, you can get away with just using just Close Combat. You know, um, Megahorn would give you some extra coverage against Darts. Earthquake would give you some extra coverage versus the, um, versus the tanks, but you don't really need Earthquake for the tanks because you've got your fighting moves. So if anything, I would add Megahorn. Uh, if you have like a, so much extra dust that you want to throw it away, right? Because <laughs> you know we all got all this extra dust laying around. And then uh, Typhlosion we were talking about earlier. Typhlosion with Shadow Claw, Blast Burn, and if you want, Solar Beam. Um, Solar Beam, like like we all know, is going to be super, it's going to take a long time to get to, but it's, you know, get beamed. Hashtag get beamed, son. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's the bargain bin. So what what are we going to do with these, with these Pokemon? What are we going to do? We're going to put them into teams, right? Now, there's several of these Pokemon that I don't personally have yet. So I ran a team with Snorlax, Swampert, and I can't even remember the other one. Uh, we're going to have a video in just a second here, and we'll take a look at the episode. But um, yeah, so I, I, I did my best. I, I powered up a Swampert. Uh, that cost about a hundred and some thousand with the extra move. I powered up my uh, my Snorlax. That was like another hundred or so thousand with the extra move. I'm, I'm down like a quarter million Stardust, and I've only done three Pokemon, and they were almost already fully powered up. So again, I don't know what they're doing with the dust, but they need to figure something else out because it's just not enough. It's just not enough. And I'm not, I don't usually complain about rewards, but if they want us to participate in these short session seasons where it's only, you know, two weeks and, um, sorry, I can get something to drink here. You know, two weeks per, per league. Where are, we, where are we getting this dust from? I don't know, bro. I don't know. All right. So example teams, we got our Swampert, Giratina Altered and uh, Registeel. Ready Steel is going to be taking care of the Charmers. Um, Swampert here is going to be taking care of any of the tanks and the fairies as well. And um, so the, the, the top line there, that's a really nice generalist uh, team. As you can see going down, we're just going to uh, pepper in, you know, some Alolan Mucks, Togekiss, uh, both Giratinas, Lapras, Gyarados. Uh, Ready Steel is all over the place. You can see Swampert's all over the place. Um, and also a lowland muck. I don't have a great a lowland muck. I'm still working on that as well. So you know, it's gonna be a learning experience for all of us, right? So it's gonna be fun though. I, I, I like I said, I've only played one or two, um, two rounds, and the Pokemon last longer. It's it's interesting how much tankier they are and how much. I mean, you're not doing more damage because it's all relative, but it's interesting. It's it's a, definitely an interesting. Um, uh, interesting I don't know field I don't know what the word is but let's get into this battle here we are playing Yabawaki hey at least I can pronounce that one what's up Rage Yabawaki we are both ranked nine and we are going to be uh going over this episode here it was raining today in San Diego as you can see we're going to lead our Snorlax because our, uh, a lot of people are going to be leading Giratinas so Snorlax uh is going to do work then we go ahead and we switch into Giratina and as you can see Oh, we're dealing with lag. So annoying. So annoying. So he gets a couple extra fast moves in. I start feeling like, what am I even, should I even keep going? 
it doesn't feel good. It definitely does not feel good when you are so, you know, invest so much dust and so much energy into making these Pokemon and then you go and battle them and and it's like, it's that, a spinning wheel of death and uh, it's just not, I wish they would fix it. Thank God it's preseason, right? All right. So he switched out of his um, and brought in his Charmer and my Giratina went down quick. So we're gonna charge up to this uh, sludge wave and then throw the hydro cannon, right? We're gonna pull that shield out of him. And then now we're gonna charge up to our sludge wave and throw. That is a very, very good strategy for dealing with these charmers, as you can see. So we were able to get rid of his last shields. We're able to get to this hydro cannon right off the bat here. Do just a little bit of damage to this Machamp here. Actually, we're gonna take that mofo out. And back in comes uh, his Giratina, and now let's let's uh, let's analyze this here. So Snorlax is a normal type. Giratina is throwing ghost moves, so we resist everything he throws. Okay, we're doing super effective damage. Look how little <laughs> look how little damage that Shadow Ball did. He's gonna try every move in the book to see what he can uh, what he can work with. So now he's gonna start throwing ominous winds, right? So we are normal. We're resisting every move he throws. Okay, so now we know that superpower is gonna lower our attack and our defense by two stages. So I tried to uh, charge up to um, two, to enough for two superpowers. Um, I'm still not super clear, super clear <laughs> with what uh, the count is for that. I will get back to you guys on that when I do the suit. Sorry, the um, the Snorlax, um, what's that called? Snorlax Matchup Mastery that's coming up in the next couple of days. I hope this cleared up a little bit of stuff for you guys. I hope I didn't um, stress you out any with, about the dust, but I'm really stoked for Ultra League. I'm even more stoked for uh, Rose Cup coming up. Um, and uh, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys tomorrow. A list of all of the matchup masteries and by the numbers for Rose Cup, which is an awesome resource. It goes over six different Pokemon. Um, that I've used in my team. They're amazing and it tells you everything you need to know about everything you need to know. Uh, and then the other video here is just, I don't know, I'm gonna put something there. You're gonna love it, okay? <laughs> All right.